When I would say, I think you need to get some help, he would say, there's nothing wrong with me. Um, he seemed to be more irritable. He, he couldn't perform some of the basic tasks. He was disorganized. All of the things that he had never been before, even when he had played football, he was still able to, to do the basic things. And he held a job until the very end of his life, so he was still able to do a lot. But towards me, he was, um, he was aggressive and he was um, not happy with me, it seemed like, ever. Would he be verbally abusive? Yes. And physically, yes. sometimes. Yes, sometimes. And it wasn't something. But not till the very you end of his life. You couldn't talk to anybody about this, really. No, no. I think it's a classic case of the way everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of people are when they are in an abusive, verbally, emotional. Ill. I think that it's embarrassing, and um, it was so hard. So you didn't re relate any of this to possibly being no. from the. No, concussions. I thought it was all because yeah. of the addiction. Yeah. I thought it was all because of the addiction, and. Um, I didn't know who to tell. And I did start telling some friends at the end and wonderful people helped me through. And I just want everybody to know that if you're going through something like that, to reach out, to find a friend, go to a church, get involved in a ministry, or somehow reach out and get a lifeline mm -hmm. because you need one.